What is up guys, this is More Power 35 here. Today what I got for you guys is a uh, melee only gameplay with the buzz cut melee weapon. <clears throat> now this one, this weapon just came out in the new uh, patch update that released uh, with Blackjack and um, the Banshee, the Nightbreaker, and the Roof D9. Um, and my nephew was actually um, lucky enough to get this on Supply Drop. Um, and he decided, he was nice enough to get me a gameplay when he was over at my house this week um and he actually does really good um in a few few minutes or a few seconds he's actually gonna get a triple kill with it right here he's gonna oh my gosh he's just gonna tear him up with a guy in the eye um then he's gonna stun he could get more here but uh it's just a little bit too much um yeah the guy gets shoots him in the back um but this this melee weapon is actually pretty good um i'm not big on melee weapons there's only a few that i actually like um I'm more of a ranged weapon type of guy. I don't really run melees all the time. Um, and the last few melee uh, gameplays that I got for you guys was actually versus bots. Um, this one is actually in-game, uh, multiplayer online. Um, I believe it's hardcore domination. Um, and he's just going to mashing up people. Um, right there, he just did the taunt um, for the uh, melee weapon. Um, it's just basically saying, hey, come get some. Come here, I'm going to uh, tear you up with this thing, which I actually really like. Um, and this uh, weapon, I don't know if uh, most people know, but this was actually um, uh, teased as a little Easter egg on the map Verge from uh, the last DLC, which is the remake from Bonsai. There was a little room with a bunch of different weapons in it, and this was actually one of the weapons inside that room. And to be completely honest, when I was looking at those weapons, because I've seen some YouTubers... Um, pointing this out, um, I was like, ah, that's not going to come to Black Ops 3, um, but actually it did, um, and to be completely honest, this, um, these are actually some of the more sensible weapons than some of the weapons we've seen in, uh, this last set of, uh, weapons that came out with, especially with the Banshee, with the, uh, the sniper shotgun that they just added in, um, that you can hit six shots from halfway across the map. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, he actually does it pretty decent in this game. Um, he's a lot better than I am at Call of Duty, so um, he was gracious enough to give me this gameplay. I uh, just want to give a shout out to my nephew Dwayne. Um, he's the one who got me this gameplay. Now I want to get into um, what I would normally run for this. Um, as you see right here, he uses the specialist um, ability uh, vision pulse. I like that. I will for specialist abilities. I would either use that. Uh, psychosis, active camo, or heat wave. Um, just so that you can be stealthy, um, know where your enemy is at, or if you're in a tight jam where an enemy has to jump on you, you can stun them with a heat wave and uh, get a kill on them. Um, and then going into the actual class setup, I'm gonna do a setup for this. Um, just so that you guys know, um, have a good idea on some stuff you can use to help you get. Um, better melee only gameplays um i would use no primaries um uh, just so that you're strictly running melee only um uh for your, whatever your uh, melee weapon will be as your secondary uh, for your tacticals i don't use anything for my tacticals uh, or my lethals i mean um i just mainly use uh tacticals um but for the tacticals i would either use two um concussions or two flashbangs just so that you can either stun or completely flash your opponent to where they can't see and you can just slide in there and um, beat them up with your uh, melee weapon of choice. Um, and then I would also use, for the perks, I would use perk one as ghost, um, just so that you're not tracked by thermals or things like that. Cold-blooded um, as perk two, one of your perk two, so that you're not, um, you're not uh, detected by most score streaks. Um, and then all, another perk two would be uh, scavenger, so that you can replenish your um, your ammo, your tacticals and lethals and things like that. And then your perk threes will be um, will be dead silent, so that you're you're not heard running around the map. And then blast suppressor, so that when you're boost jumping around the map, um, people don't uh, see your ping on the on the uh, mini map or um, uh, hear you that well because it deafens the uh, the noise that comes with the boost. 
Um, but this is one of my one of my favor favorable um, melee weapons. I um I don't like very many of the melee weapons that have come into Black Ops 3, um, but this is one of the one of the better ones. Um, I I don't feel like this has like an auto lock on um, for when you target an enemy, but it's better at killing enemies than some of the other ones like the Fury Song. That one. It's terrible with the auto lock on because it has such a long blade. Um, it just feels like you're only you're killing them with half the blade. But uh, but this one you just you can crack them upside the head. Um, it's really satisfying when you use a melee weapon, uh, just because it's harder to get kills using a melee weapon, and uh, you know it's just it's just a better feeling. But uh. But yeah, guys, um, this is, uh, my first video in, like, a, oh, actually be my second video in, like, um, a week and a half. I've been really sick, like I said, in my vlog, um, I'm still getting over this, uh, sickness, but, um, as soon as I get back, as soon as I get over this, uh, cold, I will be back to, to making videos for you guys as much as possible. I'm gonna try to do daily, but I don't know if I'll be able to, so, uh, don't hold me to that. Uh, but I would love to do daily videos for you guys. It's just really hard with my work schedule is actually about to start picking up more. Um, so, but I really want to get you guys these gameplays. Um, and yeah, so I'm also going to start doing more Black Ops 1 videos. Um, I'm going to start restart my um, mini games uh, series that I was doing. Um, I just got to get some people to play with now that I'm on the Xbox. Um, I don't have my usual crew from the PlayStation, but uh, if you guys have an Xbox One and you want to play uh, mini games with me, um, just shoot me your gamer tag in the uh, comment section below. And also in the comment section below, uh, tell me what your favorite melee weapon or ranged weapon is from uh, that have come through supply drops in Black Ops 3. Um, also, I want to give another shout out to uh, my boy XGN Natty Bo. He's uh, the guy who trained me. In the, uh, the the clan that I, I joined um, last week, and uh, I just wanted to give him a shout out. He's been really cool, um, really helpful to me. Um, and I wanted to just give a shout out to the whole clan, Extra Exile Gaming Network. Um, these guys are really cool. Guys and gals are really cool. So, uh, check them out. Um, uh, Natty Bo has a YouTube channel, and he has a um, Twitch channel. I will link both of those. <clears throat> down in the description so show him some love like you guys have shown me love um and i i want to get a um game set up our gaming setup uh video um so i'm gonna probably shoot shoot for that goal to be my my uh reward for my reaching 1000 subs so if i can reach 1000 subs i will do a gaming setup video um of what gaming what console i use um what monitors I'm actually using a TV right now but I'll show you guys the monitors uh, that I use I gotta get some a couple of them fixed um actually both of them fixed um but uh but yeah so if I can hit a thousand subs we'll do um we'll do a gaming setup video um and possibly a room tour setup if I can get everything cleaned up and set up pro properly but uh yeah guys thank you guys for watching um uh, thank you guys for being patient with me, um, not uploading the last couple of week or last couple of days. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, check out the uh, day in the life vlog that I shot um, the other day. Um, but yeah, guys, see y'all later.